Welcome back to Fox Tech, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to get rid of a language keyboard on your iPad. This is useful if you want to revert back to your original language and remove any additional language keyboards that you no longer need. Keep in mind that you must always have at least one language on your keyboard. Every keyboard on your iPad, in terms of the software keyboard that shows up on your screen, is set to a particular language. If you have multiple language keyboards installed, it might be cluttering your keyboard options or simply not necessary for your use. Fortunately, managing these settings is straightforward. First, to manage your keyboard settings, open the settings app on your iPad. From the main settings menu, navigate to the general section. Once you're in the general settings, look for the keyboard option and tap on it. This will open up a range of different settings that you can adjust for your keyboard. Um, in the keyboard section, you'll need to tap on keyboards again. This will bring up a list of all the keyboards currently installed on your iPad. Here, you'll see the languages you have been using and have the option to add more if needed. However, if your goal is to remove certain languages, this is where you do it. Simply tap on edit, then tap the red minus button next to the languages you want to remove. For instance, you might choose to keep English and remove any other languages that you don't use. This process works seamlessly with Apple's built-in keyboard, providing you with an easy way to manage your language settings. However, you also have the freedom to explore other keyboard options if you prefer. The App Store offers a variety of third-party keyboards that might better suit your needs. For example, apps like SwiftKey or Gboard by Google are popular alternatives. These keyboards come with different features and customization options, including various ways to display and operate the language settings. If you find the default Apple keyboard lacking, trying out a third-party option might be worth considering. So. Whether you're sticking with Apple's built-in keyboard or exploring third-party options, managing your language keyboards on the iPad is a simple process. Removing unwanted languages helps streamline your keyboard experience and keeps things tidy. Thank you for watching this video on Fox Tech. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. See you guys later.